Microsoft's got the hots for Nook, LG has its head in the cloud, and we're battling pigs in, in space. space. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. The e-reader game just got more interesting. Microsoft is investing $300 million in a new Barnes & Noble subsidiary that will oversee the Nook e-reader as well as digital and college business. This new entity doesn't have a name yet, but it gives Microsoft a nearly 18% stake in the company. Microsoft will include the Nook digital bookstore in its upcoming Windows 8 operating system. Shares of Barnes & Noble skyrocketed with the news of the partnership. Watch out Amazon and Apple, looks like Nook is here to stay, and with this investment, expect it to become a stronger player in the ebook market. Also, Barnes & Noble has sold out of the Nook Simple Touch with Glow Light, but announced it will be in stock soon. And another device seeing big demand is the Dell XPS 13-inch Ultrabook. Dell wouldn't disclose numbers, but an executive told CNET that it's having trouble building enough of these new thin laptops, and demand is three times higher than expected. The XPS 13 is three pounds and less than an inch thick, but it's not cheap. Starting price is $1,000. About half of the demand is coming from the corporate world. In other news we're watching, a new prepaid phone brand will hit Walmart stores in May. U.S. Cellular and Altel Wireless teamed up with Walmart to create U Prepaid. It'll have four phones, three of them Android. The plans will offer unlimited talk, text, and no roaming charges. It's only available, though, for 18 states. Things are getting more colorful at Nintendo, literally. The Nintendo 3DS is adding the color purple to its choice of colors. You can pick it up May 20th, the same day Mario Tennis goes on sale. Groupon announced it sold 1.5 million of its Groupon Now deals in the first year of offering the service. It's taking off faster than the original Groupon deals did. Groupon Now is for vouchers that must be redeemed within the same day as purchase. And Groupon Now is available in 31 North American markets. LG is creating its own cloud service to take on Apple's iCloud. It's called LG Cloud. And the beta version is available Tuesday. It lets Android users stream content like music and video to their phones, desktop, and televisions. Users start off with 5 gigs of free storage. And today's app to watch is the fastest growing Angry Birds game ever, Angry Birds Space. It's been downloaded 50 million times after one month of its release. You're still sling shooting birds, but now there's a new element, gravitational pull. In space, no one can hear you squawk. That's your tech news update for today. Stay updated on all the latest news at CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.